my car's on fire. <laughs> Did you call 911? No, no, I decided to call you first. <laughs> call 911. I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> One of my friends actually got caught on the news. You could see her Jeep on fire. Oh, All right, Ed, I'm sorry. I sent your sticker and to... My friend Ed drove over a wet pile of, of cardboard in the rain with his brand new car. What? And it rained the night before. He drove over cardboard, thought of nothing, went to his favorite pizza place, and got in, was ordering the pizza, and all of a sudden someone's like, Honey, honey, we gotta move our car. Why? It's on fire. No, no, it's not. It's the car next to it. Wait, maybe I should move it. And Ed's going, Huh? Turns around and realizes it's his car on fire. <laughs> but as a true super fan he is of loving the pizza place, apparently all the people in the pizza place recognize him, grab all the fire extinguishers, and put out the fire in his car. Aww. Isn't that nice? And got to stop eating that much pizza. But I'm still driving the car. Yeah, he's still driving the car. This is true. Uh, we try not to get it anywhere near any cardboard places whatsoever. Um, however, I have to admit, the new story of all this is this year, I got the ultimate phone call. It wasn't just my six friends who called me at different times, like, Tadao, my car's on fire. Tadao, my house is on fire. <laughs> Get out of the house! Call 911! No, 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 it just happened! Get out of the house! Call 911! No, no, it's okay! I'm out of the house! What about the cat? What about you? Yeah, the family's out of the house. The house is not... You know how much of a heart attack I had at that very second realizing, okay, my friends have finally called me to tell me their house is on fire. Are they in the house? Are they out of the house? <laughs> Because, see, I come from a Japanese family that gets very calm, cool, and collected sort of thing. You know, if my, ha if my family house is on fire with mom and dad in it here in America, you know, my cousin, uncle would call, because he'd see it on the news feed from America to Japan, and say, Oh, Tomomatsu san, oh, yes, yes, hello, how are you doing? Ah, Tomomatsu san, we are watching the news here in Japan and see that your house is on fire. Yes, the house is on fire. Where are you? Uh, I am inside the house right now. <laughs> uh, house is on fire. What about uh, Yuko-san? Your uh, Yuko-san is patiently taking the cars out of the garage <laughs> and she is putting together a bento box. <laughs> I am going to wait for a fire department. And fire is yes, over my head. Oh, so, 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 I hope you're okay. No, no, it is okay. Pardon if I cough. There's only some smoke going on. You know, and I'm having this horrible nightmare of my family. You know, fire, fire, fire. You know, and dad doing the superhero bit, just coming out of the fire and nothing. You know, this whole aura of super fire. And all the fire is just flaming around him. He gets out of the house. And what's he going to do? He's going to trip and break his glasses. <laughs> this is my dad's like, Mom will be going there frantically going, Will you get out of the house? The house is... No, no, it's okay. House is on fire. We are waiting for a fire. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, this is my family's life. Yes. Oh, speaking of family, this is one of the stories I was... Alright, um, if you go to the masquerade, ignore this story entirely, okay? So just blank, you didn't hear this story. So, um, one of the things I've always wanted, wanted to tell I'm doing a sword fighting thing, sorry, in the demo. My family is weird. <laughs> Wait a minute. They make me look normal. No, that can't be right. Uh, so I have my, one of my cousins uh, is uh, on my mom's side of the family. Mom is one of eight kids. I had to actually think about that for a minute. Of course, my grandpa is one of twelve. And if you figure out how many people can fit in a small apartment in Japan, eight is luxurious as far as I go. Anyway, so one of my cousins <laughs> lives in this funny little temple house, and it's kind of squarish. You know, with the little sliding doors, the paper the walls, and they've got the pond with the koi in the middle, and it's a nice old house. Now, my cousin and I, he doesn't speak English, I don't speak Japanese, he's got three little sisters, and it's like, okay, what are we going to do? And we discovered somehow in talking things, and you know, I know judo. You know, and he knows karate. I said, well, I know some karate, and he knows some judo. And we're both mediocre when it comes to, you know, kendo fighting you know, with, with sticks. And every once in a while, it's because of the family. He's kind of like a New Yorker. He so, says, hey, cousin, how you doing? Wham. You know, this is all in Japanese. He doesn't have a New York accent. It's like, oh, Americano does a boom. You know, actually, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Um, and he's always, you know, knocking me about, oh, hi, cousin, how you? And I whap him back. And then it just turns into, like, this knockdown brawl for some reason. <laughs> Your family, what else can you do? So you know, he hits me, I hit him. And usually, somehow, these 
kendo sticks materialize out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it's his sisters throwing them at us, and we just grab them thinking we've been, you know, and they're taking bets. Who's going to win? American side. No, no, it's going to be Japanese side. No, I said, you know, it's going to be one of the women. And the last piece that I had was like six years ago, and when I went in, and he said, oh, you know, something about video games, and I'm like, yeah, right. And I, I knew I was in trouble, the sliding doors to his room opened, and I noticed each corner had a kendo stick. <laughs> ah, some of you are following what's going on. It's like, okay, he's getting ready for something. And all of a sudden it starts with a slap on the back and I go flying into the room. And I go flying back out. It's like a Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee movie for some odd reason. I'm flying this way, he's flying this way, and I finally grab him and I stomach throw him all the way into his closet. I'm going, ha ha, I got him. But then all of a sudden I hear this giggle from his sisters and an exchange of money. Or was it boxes of pokey, uh, you know, pocky, I'm not sure. It was one and all of a sudden, I see this stick start coming out of the closet. It's a kendo stick. It's a never-ending kendo stick. This kendo stick is seven foot three, and it's preceding my cousin, and the first thing that comes into my brain is, holy! I grab one stick from one side, roll over, and manage to put up in an X just as the holes. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. This is a seven foot kendo stick. This is like taking a tree and hitting you with it. <laughs> That's a sequoia, you know? And I just managed to put up and wham, wham, wham. I thought, oh God, I'm gonna have it. And it would just, and the nieces are still trading Pocky, taking bets on every hit. Tell me, and I went whack, whack, whack. He's swinging, I'm ducking, and it's all this and that. And somehow, ironically, I threw my kendo stick. It bounced off of his deflection, hit the inside wall, it slid open. Thank God, because somehow we both tripped on his bed, which is, you know, the little futon thing, and we both fell through. Now his back, his back is that way, and I'm just, and all I see is in the open little courtyard area, his family, his parents, my family, my parents, and they're all having tea. And all, sorry, this is visual. All, you, all I saw from this end was this side of the family, all of them turning in our direction, and you're going, Fum. <laughs> we landed in the koi pool. <laughs> and we both come out spurred, but... <laughs> and then I realized something painful, and I looked over to the side, and we didn't just fall through, we fall through, and I look at my cousin and I say in English, Oh, I see your family has planted rose bushes! <laughs> and he's going, So this rose bush! Eaten, and we're all covered. And then we both realized, we're not fighting! And all of a sudden, ah! And we both raised the swords, and this poor little koi got caught up in the wave, and you see it in the air. We have not forgotten each other. We're going 50 points if we can hit that on the way down. There's this flurry that you've never seen from the you know, Afro Samurai and Naruto. You hear the clash, you see the splash, and this little koi suddenly just goes straight through, unscathed. Comes up and actually spits at both of us and weevils away. Now, out of the corner of my eye, I saw this flurry of movement from the table and these feet going in different directions. And then, my cousin and I are just looking there, we both have our swords out, and he's going, we missed. <laughs> I've never heard the man speak English before, and all I hear was, we missed. And I go, yeah, and then we look at each other, and all of a sudden we're going, ah! And then we hear this, <clears throat> we look to the side, his mom, my dad, his dad, my mom, aunt, uncle, they're all carrying bamboo swords.